What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bacali and today's video is going to be about the wrap experience for my C63S. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me in my Instagram DMs, what is it like having your car wrapped? Uh, what it's like after a few months and so on, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just make a video explaining the wrap experience, how it's been for the past year, because I've had this car wrapped for a whole year. So we're gonna look at the wrap itself to see how well it's held up after a year, especially with my type of driving, because I think I've added 20,000 miles with this wrap for one year. It's gonna be a good indicator of the life and the health of a fully wrapped C63S or whatever car you have. I thought I'd start out the video by explaining the different types of wraps that you can get for a car. This is a 3M satin dark gray. So you can get a satin wrap, you can get a matte wrap, you can get a metallic finish. Uh, you can also get gold, chrome, basically any types of finishes for your wrap. I went with a satin dark gray because Driven Auto Styling, the shop that wrapped my car, they suggested that this car would look really good with a satin wrap, make the lines pop a lot more because this car previously was black and it really hid a lot of the body lines. And I have to say, I mean, I'm sure you guys agree based on my Instagram pictures, which you can follow me uh, down below in the description. The satin wrap looks amazing on this car. It was basically made for this car. And the AMG edition one version of this car was actually a satin um, gray. I forgot what the name is from Mercedes, but this is a very similar look and I think it looks amazing. Now, when you get to the chrome gold kind of wraps, those get a little tricky because the material is a lot harder to work with. Um, the guys from Driven Auto Styling told me that it's very hard to get a nice, clean uh, install for a gold or chrome wrap. But again, it's up to you, preference, whatever you guys want, they can do it. So if you want a wrap on your car and you're local to Philly, New York, uh, Maryland, those areas, go to Driven Auto Styling. They have amazing work and amazing people. So recently I've discovered that a lot of new wraps are actually printed wraps. So what you can do is you can get a whole design made by anyone you want and then you can send it to a printer. The printer will actually print the wrap itself and then you have someone uh, at a shop install it. I think my next wrap is going to be a uh, printed wrap because you can do basically unlimited types of designs, make it look really unique and really cool. So I think that'll be my next wrap. Um, those, again, it depends on the printer quality, whether or not the wrap itself looks good or not. And then also the install obviously uh, would make it or break it for this wrap. Now that I've gone over the different types of wraps you can get for your car, let's go over the car itself, uh, look at the imperfections, figure out whether or not it's held up after a year, um, and yeah, basically go from there. So I thought I'd start out by just doing a quick walk around of the car to see what was wrapped and what wasn't wrapped so basically it was a full body color change except the spoiler the side skirt over there um, the diffuser down here was left the same basically every part was wrapped with the satin dark gray now if we go to the inside of the car when you get your car wrapped you can actually get the door jams wrapped uh, this car was not wrapped all the way to the door jams you can see you can still see the painted uh, black body color from the OG color. And then up here, you can still see the black. Um, let me increase brightness a little bit. Yep, and you can still see the black over there. So the wrap just stops right here, which like I said, it's up to preference. You can get this done, um, completely color change the door jams as well from any shop. Uh, it's basically up to you if you want it. I figured, you know what? I really don't care because whenever I open the door, the black actually contrasts well with the dark gray that you can't really even notice. If we go around to the front, which is the main issue in terms of health and quality of this wrap. So wraps do protect the original paint color. Um, it's nothing like having a PPF, but it does offer some protection. Uh, but if we move up closer, hopefully I can get the details. Let me zoom in. So you can start seeing that the wrap is chipping away this black is the original paint color and then as we go down over here you can see <laughs> it starts getting worse and worse and you can still you can see right there that's a pretty big chip there's just chips all over the hood and that's just from driving it basically having the car on the highway rocks and shit especially driving in the winter chips it all up and then if we move down here um, you can see a lot of it, excuse the dead bugs, a lot of it is chipped up in the front. 
Now, although it is chipped up in the front, I'm actually pretty impressed with how well the front has held uh, in terms of quality and having the chips on the front because yeah, there is a good amount on the front, but it's really not as bad as I thought it would be, especially with my type of driving. Uh, the one thing with wraps, especially after a year, um, typically I would say they last about three to four years. So after one year, um, you might see some lifting in certain areas. Uh, if we go to a around tight corner, you can see that there really isn't lifting at all, which is very impressive, um, especially down these hard lines and hard creases that's very hard to wrap. I really don't see any lifting, and that just goes to show the quality of work done at Driven Auto Styling. You can see even here, really not that bad in terms of lifting. Uh, there are some areas which we can look over, nothing really here. Uh, you can see like right here, there's a little bit of lifting right there. Um, there's some lifting right there. We go down here you can see there's kind of a little bit of a bubble there uh, that's just a really harsh area to wrap so you know that's probably normal to see but other than that even in the back really no lifting at all so different things are factored into that one is the quality of the wrap material and then two is the actual install of the wrap um, and that basically describes whether or not this wrap will last a long time or if it's just going to fall apart immediately so the cost of getting your car wrapped varies based on what shop you go to and what material you buy. If you go for a gold or a chrome, it's probably going to be more expensive. And also if you get a design printed wrap, it might cost money to have the wrap actually designed initially. So that would add on to the cost. And then basically whatever shop you go to, I mean, you could have your cousin uh, Rico wrap it for you for 50 bucks in his backyard or you can go to a shop like driven auto styling get it done professionally for a higher cost but a cost that is worth every penny i mean you guys saw after a year and twenty thousand miles with this car being wrapped the quality and how well this wrap is held up basically says how good of a job a reputable shop does and how long those wraps will last so in my opinion it's definitely worth the extra cost to go to someone professionally to have it done right the first time and only time so that about wraps it up for the wrap experience video uh, there was no pun intended on that i hope this helps you guys decide whether or not you want your car wrapped and what are things that you should be looking at before you're getting your car wrapped the most important thing in my opinion is finding a reputable shop to do the work which i had driven auto styling in philadelphia do it and you guys saw although the chips in the front which is not based on their quality of work uh, but you also saw the amount of lifting uh, or the amount of non-existent lifting on the wrap just shows how well the quality of work that's been done at Driven Auto Styling. But also, whatever shop that you go to, no matter what in the United States, as long as you go to a reputable shop, these wraps will last the three to four estimated lifetime, maybe even longer, it depends. But going to a reputable shop is the most important thing in my opinion. Then picking the best material, which in my opinion, I love 3M, which is the reason why I went with this color choice. But other wrap companies work as well, as long as it's not a Walmart brand. That's the most important thing is do not buy a wrap from Walmart. I think overall the wrap experience has been amazing. Uh, I really would wrap my car again. I hope this video helps you guys deciding if you want your car wrapped. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the bell, ring the bell, hit the like button, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next video.